Jambo guys, this is your guy Zik and welcome to Just Zik Show. So, kama kawaida wasi, watu na walete ya mahasila kwa show. So, these guys ni wasiwa kujituma, wasiwa walali. So, leo, tumetambila jama mmoja hapa, ni hasila jama mejituma. And, uh, ata jintroduce na tuambie, huwa nafanya nini, and uh, anajishikucha nini na live. So, guys, karibu and uh, let's meet our guest today. Yeah, you brother. You go busy. Busy, son. My sugar, sugar, now na apa. Eh, so na ni moja na Malaysia. Uh huh. This is the Tunazita Muskeks. Uh huh. Yeah. design ya design ya cloud. Uh huh. No na inaka kama cloud. Si no no na pika spirit na then ni kama mo art, mo art. Si le amagari. Actually, baking it's all about art. Uh huh. It's all about art. Uh huh. So it's all about creativity. Uh huh. And how you play with colors. Uh huh. Na vitu zinatokea poa. So, hizi colors unapiga ni edible ama ni colors tu za decoration? Actually, hii ni chocolate. Ni chocolate imeko kwa, imekua compressed hapa. Mm-hmm. Imechanganishwa na kitu naituwa coco butter. Mm-hmm. So, inasaidia ku stick on hii cake. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, life spam ya hii cake yako ni how long? Ukisha piga yo spray? Uh, Ineza kaa one week, but mm-hmm. kama iku kwa fridge. Mm-hmm. But uh, in general, I always survive kwa sababu ni kitu natumia maziwa. Mm-hmm. Na maziwa ikika inja sana. I always survive with all temperatures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. karibu kwa show? Uh, Sante sana. So, utatueleze hizi staff zote. Mm-hmm. But first, wacha tusimamishe hii decoration unafanya and then tuambia kwanza we ni nani, unatuka ah, hapi. Okay. Kishu guli yako unaipigia wapi and then we go on. Ah. Saa, karibu jo. Asante bhai. So thanks. Kamera yetu iko pande hii. So karibu uh, tuambie wewe ni nani unatokea wapi na shughuli yako ni gani? Ah. Uh, Tukianzia mimi ni tu Eugene Sande. Uh-huh. Siko poa na Kiswahili sana so I can mix. Unaweza mix tu ina shida. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I am Eugene Sande. Na uh-huh. uh, co CEO actually CEO of uh, SK Edible Art. Uh-huh. Uh, baking nilianza um, 2015. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm a professional chef. Mm-hmm. So I started with hot kitchen. Mm-hmm. Then I can develop interest in baking mostly mm-hmm. and pastries. But I am good in all. Mm-hmm. So 2015 is when I I went all in into mm-hmm. pastry. Mm-hmm. So kwa industry ni kasema nitachana na hot kitchen. Mm-hmm. Ni deal na side ya pastries na bakery ni kate ni nini. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So journey yangu ijakuwa mbaya. Mm-hmm. Sasa sema imekuwa poa. Yeah, na shukuru Mungu sana. Mm-hmm. Uh, after 2015 um, nikafanya job uh, Somalia in ah. 2016. Nice. Nikafanya for <laughs> one year. Uh-huh. Uh, experience yako pia ilikuwa poa. Mm-hmm. It was a short contract ya yeah, one year peke yake. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda nikarudi nikaendelea na Nairobi vitu zikukua poa sana mm. nikapata opening uh, uh, Qatar hiyo ni 2018 sasa ah doha Qatar yeah mm-hmm. nikaingia Qatar uh, siko na joinda kufanya kazi kwa hospitali ulienda ulienda kama chef ama ulienda kama hizi jobs za kawaida si uenda sana clean na security ulienda aje ulienda kama chef ama eh yeah, nilienda kama chef nilikuwa na best yangu mwingine fiti sana anaitwa Eriko. Mhm. Yeye ndo alini connect na hiyo job yako. Mhm. Sasa aliniambia, "Eh, mzee kuna chef, executive chef anataka wase wa pastry." Mhm. Kasema, "Ah, kama ni hivyo, mimi naweza come, mimi niko fit." Yeah. Na ni hivyo ndo tukajipata doha. Ah, so yeah. actually you metaja doha mm-hmm. na most of our viewers and uh, even some people in Kenya they're interested to kwenda doha. Mm-hmm. So acha hata tuanzie tu story ya doha experience. Mm-hmm. Kama umesema people are going with also pastry and chef also. Yeah. Like what was expect ni clean up yake na security yeah. so experience yako do ilikuwaaje na expectation yako ilifikia wapi actually sikia kwanza ni learn tv doa mm-hmm. unatoka tv kwa ndege ile hewa inakuchapa hiyo eh hey, <laughs> huku ni wapi ni wafika ba uh-huh. ile joto huko si mchezo hiyo uh-huh. jua ni kali sana mm-hmm. eh, hewa yenyewe ni moto mm-hmm. sija sija experience kutoka hiyo mm-hmm. so tukachukuliwa airport tukapelekwa accommodation nilikuwa nafanya job na amwaj amwaje eh, mm-hmm. ilikuwa catering company mm-hmm. so nikafika huko siko najua tunapeleka wapi sio na tu tuko tuko desert tu tunaenda atifiki bana <laughs> 2018 ni time haiko ime develop ime develop sana mm-hmm. eh, so tukafika naona tena ni camp 
place kubwa makeja ni mingi mm-hmm. na shangata naye tulikuwa naishi kuja kujishi kwa camp <laughs> hey. uh-huh. hivyo hivyo ndo tukaadmitiwa mm-hmm. tukaanza wera mm-hmm. uh, expectation yangu siku na jua nafanya kazi kwa hospitali mm-hmm. nilikuwa najua maybe naenda kwa hoteli ama kitu kama hiyo yeah. so ex, uh, experience ya hoteli na hospitali ni tofauti, tofauti sana usafi ni kitu kingine wanaangalia sana hygiene kwa hospital especially mm. Qatar Qatar uh-huh. eh hey, iko top notch kabisa hiyo mm. uh, gamble nayo kabisa mm-hmm. mm. so experience ilikuwa poa na nilikuja mm-hmm. nikalani vitu mob mm-hmm. from hapo mm-hmm. uh, advice wa senior afikiria kwenda Qatar mm-hmm. unaweza pata hizi jobs zingine yes but still right it's easy so it's not easy it's not easy to get a job in a hotel mm-hmm. ama maybe a restaurant it's either you go as a cleaner or maybe security when you're there mm-hmm. after you finish your contract mm-hmm. you can change. change yeah 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 you can change but also other companies giving you something called NOC mm-hmm. NOC it's a release letter from your company to allow you to change to another company mm-hmm. so ingine inakuwa ngumu kukupea hiyo Mhm. Eh kwa sababu angalia ile pesa ame invest kwa kwa alafu tena anakupatiana bure inakuwa ni ngumu. Hata nikurudishe nyuma kidogo vile ulisema uli the way you went to Doha mm. did you go direct or did you use an agent kwenda because umesema Eriko Eriko mm. is an agent ama ni best tu alikuunganisha. Actually alikuwa kwa hiyo company alikuwa kwa Mwaji. So I just went direct. Ah, so it's possible like someone can organize when the direct bila hiyo agency fee. Yes so long as you have someone on the inside mwenye yako well connected mm-hmm. yes so experience yako ilikuwaaje uh, kufanya ilikuwa Ahmad Ahmad hospital yeah Ahmad hospital ilikuwaaje like na hiyo discrimination upande wa kitchen na ma like experience ya kusema waarabu na tesa wa Kenya vitu kama hizo who the experience uh, discrimination yes it's there mm-hmm. i i felt a bit discriminated mm-hmm. mostly from some other chefs from other nationalities mm-hmm. it is kawaida mm-hmm. but uh, me being on a top uh, position mm-hmm. i was also a threat to them yeah right so they never took me also lightly mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so i had also my like a bargain power to kushikilia yeah. yangu mm-hmm. yeah so yeah. with your career uli growaje ukiwa huko doha did you get enough experience ndio karudi kama kulimta ama uli feel ni kama since platform ilikuwa limited ukarudi down ki experience uh, actually ilifika point nikaona i cannot go further from here mm-hmm. because what we are doing we are just doing cycle things cycle menus mm-hmm. january to january mm-hmm. so you know next monday when you eh uh, unapika the same thing and you last monday mm. ama the next month ina rotate hivyo hivyo yeah. so nilifika place niko na hii experience yenye nimepata imenitosha na mm. and i couldn't go beyond where i was yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so it was time for me to either look for somewhere else or mm. come back home and start my business ah uh, so you mean like bila uh, umesema you come back home to start your own business kuna ile fear mm. ya watu wako abroad let's mm. say dubai qatar saudi people pale wajua tuna expect salary every month mm. but mtu akifikiria arudi mtaani mm. to try and invest to start a new business ama to start a new life it's very hard so kama wewe uli face challenges gani vile urudi mtaani kuanza from square one uh, true mm-hmm. actually hiyo fear nilikuwa nayo but as for me i can say i had enough time while i was there mm-hmm. to do to create my name out there mostly on social media yeah Uh, from 2019 there mm. i created my name mm-hmm. uh sk edible lads mm-hmm. i because wengi sana huko kenya walikuwa wananijua so walikuwa wanaza eh hey, kwani huko wapi actually walikuwa ah. na mimi niko kenya though ah. i was operating and you usha there. already usha advertise online yes mm-hmm. uh, so from apple nika create jina yangu uh, until i came back in uh, 2022 mm-hmm. june mm-hmm. Yeah but at that time nilikuwa nimesha build an audience mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimesha build clientele mm-hmm. and i had also bought my things that i knew when i come back home mm-hmm. ni kwanza tu biashara so the things you bought from doha ama you buy to online ukiwa mtaani zinaenda tu zikisetwa mahali then you came up and then you just picked up from there actually i, I started in doha first mm-hmm. i was baking from there 
Mm -hmm. But I could not sustain it because of uh, delivery. Transport issue was the main problem. Yeah, it's very expensive. It is very expensive. Mm -hmm. You can bake cakes, people will buy, yes. But now when it comes to delivery and distance, mm -hmm. you find you spend a, a lot more on deliveries since mm -hmm. I didn't have a car or any other means. So mm -hmm. to me, either Bolt, I'm a, not Bolt, but Uber. Uber. To me to Uber. Uber or uh, Talabat. Yes. Now uh -huh. uh, it's a bit costly. Uh -huh. So I was to ah. Since I've tried, Nimona, uh, it is not working. Let me come back home. Mm -hmm. I try my luck from here. So since Kuapa Mtani now you are doing your own business, mm -hmm. na actually, ujambia what you are doing your business from where and how they can find you. Kwanza, to say me apple before what to end them bali. You introduce introduce your business actually. Uh, for me, Nico based in Sukimau. Mm -hmm. uh, Sukimau Beijing Road. Uh, I work from there. Actually, I work. I still work from home. My work, my office is still at my home. Mm -hmm. But this is a venture out to get a place. I'm still looking for a perfect location mm -hmm. to set up a shop. Mm -hmm. But currently, I'm working from Sukimau, uh, along Beijing Road, uh, Blue Bell Apartments. Yeah. So, to answer now, he busy ako ya pastry. The pastry man bakery. Baking. The baking. Yes. We only answer like what are the what were the challenges? Like when I advise him say maybe I'm talking about the pastry from home or any other kind of business. Mm. Like generally, to what I'm talking either you can do it from your bedroom, from your kitchen, or from your sitting room. Mm. So when I advise him, him say my I'm talking about to bakery or business. Uh, first thing you need to have is passion. Mm -hmm. If you don't have passion, ah, it's a problem. So, because it needs long hours of working, mm -hmm. long hours of standing, mm -hmm. and also you need to be creative. Mm -hmm. If you're not creative, kidogo pia itakulemea. So, unamanisha, like bakery or pastry, eme, 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 yani, eme change compared to kitambo kiki ni kwa gatu ni block. Ah, yeah. Abitu zimebalika kabisa. Mm -hmm. Technology imeendelea, uh, ingredients, as in, the types of ingredients what one to me is using it for sana kuliko na keki za kitambo mm -hmm. yeah what one kwa more innovative and creative mm -hmm. yeah but also another thing uh zangine social media inaweza kukuchota mm -hmm. inaweza kukuchota simu si wangu mm -hmm. expectation yangu ni kikuja ai uliko na wao watu wa social media ni customer wako wote hey, <laughs> expectation ilikuwa uko juu kabisa uh -huh. but sasa ukifika kwa ground written different it kidogo mm -hmm. so you have to like be more persistent in uh, advertising mm -hmm. and also you have to in, to invest in advertising kama ni kulipiezo ma ads ni nini ndo kazi yake yaonekane more wide so challenges gani especially una face size kama sasa hivi unafanya pastry kejani kuna vitu kama hata kama economy ya size unaje imekuwa noma sukari imepanda unga imepanda so what are the challenges you are facing right now challenges tunapanda ni as you have said ingredients kuenda juu like every other month. Mm. Now you when you think of increasing cake prices pia clients watapotea. Mm. Clients watatoroka. Mm. So mm. we just find ways to cut on cost mm -hmm. and also to maintain the quality and standard mm -hmm. and also not to lose your customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm. bay now vitu zimepanda si wrong. Nikunoma. Yeah. Eh, mbaya sana. So what are the advantages ya working from home like your own business kama unafanya baking kwa nyumba what are the advantages? Advantages, uh, you have, uh, I cannot, you have less cost mm -hmm. of uh, operation, mm -hmm. maybe kama kulipa rent, mm -hmm. kama ni rent unalipa tu ya nyumba, mm -hmm. stima tu ni ile tu ya nyumba, una, but it, it will be a bit more. Mm -hmm. Kama ni, kama ukona staff, if you, if you have more orders, you can uh, either hire a helping hand, but mm -hmm. not full time, maybe kama ukona mingi, someone just comes and helps you, unamlipa. But in terms of profit, you make uh, like a hundred percent profit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this question should you come out of face. Like uh, you can bake a cake, una jomu nda cake perfectly. Now, koshwa gridin zote umeto shanisha. You avoid all the colors and whatever. But uh, una pata feedback a client mm. at cake ya leo quality menda down. Is it a face challenge and how do you tackle it? The Jews do by the way. you wonder how. Yet how? I, I use the same recipe, uh -huh. the same ingredients. Mm. Maybe to uh, your client, yes, you can work with your mood. Mm. But uh, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can put clients when you are 
they're not f they always you cannot uh, satisfy someone like 100 percent yeah true lazima tu pate tu le moja manyaye complain kidogo but you just try and handle them mm. either you can uh, give them a discount next time mm. or you can uh, give them you can add them a bit of complimentary cupcakes or something small mm -hmm. mm. So example for your one kg cake mm -hmm. goes for how much? Yeah, Maybe in the secret or my price in the standard co market. No, actually price is standard. Kuna wale wakuju, kuna wale wakapakitikati na you you have to know your market also. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to know your target market. Mm -hmm. uh, kuna wale wenye nauza fifteen hundred, kuna wale wenye nauza two thousand, wengine two thousand five hundred, mm -hmm. wengine ata five thousand a kg, mm -hmm. wengine ata twelve thousand a kg. Nazinaenda, nazina nuliwa. Kweli. So it all depends uh, at your, with your target market. Mm -hmm. mm. So what, which cake do you have, like a signature cake? Unasema, mimi hata ni amuke sae, ni, ni me lose memory, I'll still make this cake. Actually, currently I am dealing with the uh, mousse cakes. Mm -hmm. uh, they are, those are my signature cakes. Mm -hmm. but I can say nobody around does them. I'm the only one who does them. Mm -hmm. But I'm, tr I'm planning to train guys or bakers. Mm -hmm. uh, coming this August, I will be having a class. Uh, it will be on August, yet to set a date. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be a class for two days. So if you want to learn about the most cakes, you can join my class. Actually, it's right to Mesema about training people. So mostly guys want to train from home, especially all of the coffee, mm -hmm. like uh, baristas. Mm -hmm. They have the barista machine in the house. They bring people and they teach them. Mm. But sasa wewe pia umetaja like it's good at home mention mm. so people would like to know kama unafanya ku train mm. in hot kitchen and test it together kama uko na hizo classes because pia mimi nataka kujua kutengeneza pilau bana <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually since I'm a professional chef I can I do both the uh, cooking classes and baking classes mm -hmm. yeah I can I do them from here or I can just come to your place mm -hmm. and we do it from there so do you also do corporate cooking like when they end up a function you just do chef for them amani yeah i i do corporates i do birthdays mm -hmm. uh, all events weddings hata mm -hmm. matanga tunafanya <laughs> eh yeah, matanga said ni mbaya ni safari ya mwisho eh people are so appreciated mm -hmm. so that is good mm -hmm. and uh, maybe ni zambia watu the machines you are using. Unajua watu wanadhania wewe unakoroga tu na mkono. Maybe kuna hii machine hata tujui ni gani. Yeah. Why do you have a whiskey in a pastry store ama pastry kitchen? Mm. Maybe the person who, who, who wants to start a pastry. Maybe anaweza kuwa na rough idea where to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um also baking it's an investment. Mm -hmm. Watu wanafikiria anga tu ni kuchanganya uh, mayai, sukari na blue band na mm. pala cake. Mm -hmm. But baking is a science. Mm -hmm. You cannot if you if you don't measure. It's a chemistry. Yeah. Chemistry and science. Yeah. Uh, Uspo measure, I would have the the correct uh, outcome. Uh -huh. yeah. Ma, uh, na pia to the pastry they are quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Kama e upper airbrush. Mm -hmm. What this, is the purpose of the airbrush? The airbrush uh, mostly we want to make color cakey mm -hmm. to just uh, give it a nice touch of color, maybe blue, red. Isozote. Actually, we manage kumbusha to smamish it dogo. See, the last time we were at bakery, mm. they used to put some colors inside the icing and then the. Ah uh, yes. But now it's different. It's done differently. Yeah, actually, you can either color the whole cream. I'm mm only -hmm. using airbrush. Mm -hmm. The advantage of using airbrush, mm -hmm. in any case, kama utagi using color yote, uneza but uneza tumia to into another thing mm -hmm. and like uki color cream yote uh, it's a bit too it's a loss yeah mm -hmm. neither we tupe mm -hmm. ama utakuwa na mali ya kuipeleka mm -hmm. so that's why for me na prefer kutumia airbrush mm -hmm. it limits me from wastage also yeah true yeah. okay so umesema kuna hiyo and then eh uh, hizo ndo colors tunatumia mm -hmm. they are quite expensive kama hii moja mm -hmm. ni around 1200 to 1500 yeah nunaona niko na set ya kai hizo zote yeah a uh, lafu e machine goes for around 25 to 30000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for kunai stand mixer unaweza tumia stand mixer si uh, ni domestic lakini yeah ni domestic it's mm -hmm. not commercial mm -hmm. you cannot overuse it sana pia mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but ina to serve vizuri tu yeah yeah 
Alafu pia there are these uh, chocolate sprays. Mm. Kama pia mtu anataka, I do sell them. I do sell them. You can just check uh, on them online on my page. Utazipata huko. Mm. Yeah. So that's all. Mm. Na oven. Oven. Yeah. Ah yes. Oven you can just use the domestic oven so mm. long as pia you don't overwork it some. Ah. Uh, Unajua pia ukitumia kitu sana vibaya obviously itaharibika. Mm. Wear mm. and tear. Mm. Yes. So that's it. Umesikia jamani hasla na work from home. Mm. Anafanya baking from home and uh, kama unamtaka actually wacha tu ambia patikana wapi kwa social media and patikana wapi especially TikTok. Unajua watu wengi tuko TikTok bwana. <laughs> so make sure you introduce TikTok. Mm. Uh, IG of course kila mtu anaweza kutafuta IG mm. like all your platforms. Mm. Yeah. Uh, TikTok uh, na jita Sunday Eugene. Mhm. Mtapata tu description tu hapo chini. Mm-hmm. Sunday Eugene alafu pia Facebook Sunday Eugene. Uh, Instagram ni SK Edible Arts. Mm-hmm. SK Edible Arts ndo my page, my official page. Mm-hmm. Ya business. Hizo zingine ni ya personal page but mm-hmm. still iko connected to the business. So location uh, yako sasa hizi ulisema ni wapi? Location sasa hii ko Sekimao mm-hmm. along Beijing Road. So do you do deliveries ama deliveries depends on the customer? Uh, I do deliveries mm-hmm. but pia depending on the distance we also have uh, delivery charges. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's good and uh, support tu jamaa bana pike keki kabisa. Yeah. Jamaa vijana sasa ni kujituma si eti unalalisha kabisa. And uh, vile social media imekuwa sasa hizi mm. imekuwa is the thing. Kama unataka anything unatafuta watu social media. Hakuna kuingia tao kutafuta hata yeah. watu wanauza nguo online. Mm tunauza keki online mm. tuna yeah so many things is go online mm. so guys thank you for watching and i uh, hope to see you next time make sure you subscribe ume share hii video na mabest and then yeah we grow together so remember pia kuni follow pale tiktok just zeki uh, youtube just zeki and uh, facebook facebook pia just zeki ig pia just zeki cheers and see you next time